All right, this is fourth grade, module three, lesson 18. And in this lesson, we are just moving right into that standard algorithm of, of division, pretty much the same algorithm we learned back in the, the day when we were kids. Uh, the difference, though, is as I'm talking through the standard algorithm, I'm going to be referring to place value concepts so that from a point of uh, differentiation, Students who still need those place value disks, the place value charts, by all means, let them continue drawing those dots. For students who no longer need the dots, go ahead and start teaching them, um, giving them practice on that standard algorithm. So I'm going to be using the standard algorithm, and we're going to do 84 divided by 4. Now, teachers, the, the big thing is, first, Make sure the students are writing the problem correctly. It is so commonplace for them to take this number and put it outside the house and the second number inside the house. So make sure students are drawing it, writing the problem correctly. We also want them, in both cases, to, to read the problem correctly. This is 84 divided by 4. Common misconception would be 4 divided by 84. That's wrong, so make sure students are saying it correctly. So the idea would be, as we're going through the standard algorithm, we are referring back to the place value disks. And so if students need to continue using the place value charts and the place value disks, by all means, let your students do that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to imagine what this would look like. Well, it would look like eight dots in the tens column, four dots in the ones column, and we know that we're separating it into four groups. That's what the four here is for. So eight tens separated amongst four groups means each group is going to get two dots. So that means we're going to use up eight dots and have no tens left over. So what do we have left over? Well, now we have four ones left over. And those four ones divided amongst four groups means each group is going to get one dot, which means we'll use up all four dots and have no dots left over. So our answer is 21. So how do we check it? Well, we're going to multiply. We're going to do 21 times 4. 4 times 1 is 4. And then 4 times 2 tens is 8 tens. So because we end up with 84, and that's what we started with, we, we can be reasonably sure that we are correct. So here we've got 91 divided by 4. So 91 divided by 4. And the idea would be, okay, so we have 9 tens, and those 9 tens divided amongst four groups, so you've got four, eight, so um, each group is going to get two dots. And so that means we've used eight dots all together, and we are going to have one ten left over. Now when we have that one ten left over, plus the one one over here, that means all together we have 11 ones. We have 11 left over. Now we're going to take those 11 and divide them amongst the four groups, which means each of the four groups gets two dots. So we've used up eight dots again. And then how many dots are we going to have left over? We're going to have three dots left over. So our answer is 22 remainder three. So how can we check it? Well, we're going to take that 22, the quotient, we're going to multiply by 4, the divisor. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 2 tens is 8 tens, so we end up with 88. And then 88 plus the remainder, which was 3, that gives us 91. And because 91 is what we started with, we're probably correct. And the last problem we're going to do for this video is 87 divided by 6. So we've got 87 divided by 6. And again, we're going to be thinking about place value. And we've got 8 tens 
divided among six groups. So each group is going to get one ten. We're going to have two tens left over. Well, these two tens plus these seven ones means we now have 27 ones left over. So we have 27 ones, and we're going to divide those amongst the six groups, which means each group is going to get four. So that means we've used 24 dots. We have three left over, so our answer is 14 remainder three. We're going to use a little bit of multiplication and a little bit of addition to check to make sure that we're correct. So we've got 6 times 4 is 24. That's the 4, carry the 2 into the tens column. And then we have 6 times 1 ten, or 6 times 10 is 6 tens, plus 2 more tens is 8 tens. So 6 times, the old traditional way of saying it, we would say, well, 6 times 1 is 6, plus 2 is 8. Write down the 8. All right, so now we have 84, but we've got to take that 84, add in our remainder of 3, and we get 87, which is exactly what we started with, and that tells us we're probably correct. And that wraps up 4th grade Module 3, Lesson 18, where we are using the standard algorithm, um, but we're kind of referring to the place value disks so that the standard algorithm makes sense.